Welcome back to Virgo Sewing. If you have seen my videos before, I hope that you enjoy the little musical intro that I've added. Uh, I recorded that uh, just this morning, and uh, I hope that it'll serve as a nice little intro. Anyways, here before me is the Pfaff 209 sewing machine, made in West Germany, likely uh, sometime in the 1980s. Uh, before I post the ad, I'm gonna try to hunt down the uh, serial numbers and see if I can get an exact date. But either way, this is a really nice metal body, free arm, German made sewing machine. And it's been a real pleasure to work on it. Um, and it sews just great. Although the machine was pretty clean when I got it, I, uh, I did some other cleaning so that it would just be just right. And I'll show you the hook race as well. So I'll show you how to thread the machine. This is your regular class 15 bobbin. So you take your bobbin, the thread should be going counterclockwise, and you slot it between the little groove, bring it around the tension spring, and now our bobbin's threaded. With the needle up, place the bobbin case into the machine, and we're good to go. So now I'll thread the top thread, I will put it, oh, oh no, put it through this first thread guide, catch the spring, and bring up this to the highest point, Whoop. through this thread guide here, through this thread guide, through the last thread hole above the needle, and through the needle front to back. We will draw up our bobbin thread. Looks like I forgot my scissors, so I had to run and get them. And we draw up our bobbin thread. So now we're ready to sew. So I've got some yellow thread on the top and some white uh, thread in the bottom. And we'll just take her for a spin on two layers of uh, pretty thin uh, upholstery curtain fabric. So. Stitch length. We'll start with the straight stitch. Lovely. I will check the tension. Tension could be a tad higher. Lower the stitch length down to a two. Excuse the shakiness of my table. Lovely stitches. So now I'll show you the zigzag. And all you've got to do is just widen your stitch width. So just why not? I'll put it to the widest zigzag. And I like to do a shorter stitch length. Lovely. Beautiful stitching. So now, lastly, I'll show you the multi zigzag. Gorgeous. And actually, there is also a blind stitch setting. Not that uh, I can demonstrate that fully for you right now, but I can show you what it looks like. Great. So we'll draw out a thread and I'll show you the results. The yellow thread is where we've just stitched. Here are the lovely zigzag stitches. Here are the multi zigzag stitches. 
And last but not least, here are the blind hem stitches. And here's the back side. So overall, this is a lovely, solid, vintage, German-made sewing machine. And it could be the machine for you. It comes with the original manual, very handy in multiple different languages, as well as the original accessory box. Inside of here we've got some extra bobbins, and uh, we have another sort of uh, zigzagging foot, we have a little lint brush, and we have a zipper foot. So those just are a few handy attachments that come with the machine. And the carrying case also comes with the machine. It fits right over, and it hooks into these, and you can carry it around. This has been the Pfaff 209 sewing machine. Thank you for watching. This could be the machine for you.